Mwahaha, welcome to the house. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the house tower defense. In today's video, it looks like they added, if you can see behind me, a brand new update within the game. Now, if you guys recall, last week, uh, it, was, it was on a six day timer. They were supposed to add new Crypt Kings. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head over towards the Discord so server, sorry, so you can see what, what's really going on within the game. So if we can hop over to the Discord server like that, bam. All right, house update, this is today at 12, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, not sure, could have been different from your guys' time. So the Egyptian Kings are here. Take on five new maps that come with the Big Crypt King update. King Anubis, King Bastet, King Ra, and King Sobek, and the God King. I'll get to that in later video, guys. Don't wanna miss it. Right. King Amun Ra. Along with this comes new tombs to open. Each king has their own individual tomb. Open them for a chance at their urns, as well as ancient coins and other rewards. Use ancient coins with the mummy merchant to buy the king's weapons, which when the equipped uh, have the serious plus for that king. I don't like how the old kings, like they was powerful in a, di a different certain person's tomb, so yeah. You can also purchase scarabs here. These are one time used to teleport to uh, Amun Ra's tomb. Collect parts of Amun Ra to create him in the tomb room. In order to bring Amun Ra to life, you need to, uh, you need the full body. You need the head, the torso. It's kind of like building a Frank, but to, it's an ancient tomb. So introduce the ancient urn. This is a Robux urn that is guaranteed a secret. <clears throat> it contains three new ancient heroes. Crypt Ark, Sethos, and the Pharaoh. Now guys, if I go to, um, Discord real quick. So I just want to show you guys the, uh, what these actual enemies look like. Alright. So these just come with the, no, these are the stats of some of the new, uh, but look at the feral guys. We got something here, like 130,000 was 0 0.1 cooldown. I don't know about you, but that's crazy. That's in the, within the Robux urn. But yeah, that is crazy, guys. I mean, this update is definitely going to be a banger the way I've already seen it. So let's hop into the game like so. All right, guys. Here we go. So we're going like so. All right, guys. Here we go. So we're going to do, um, let's show you what this really is. So, like so. All right, now if you guys come here, guys, it's 500 Robux. It's like the Vampire Urn. If you guys remember the Vampire Urn, they about 500 Robux each. Pretty straightforward, right? So, <clears throat> you click that, you have all this. So, yeah, uh, 4,000 for 10. I still think 4,000 is crazy, but yeah. King Crypt Arc, the Pharaoh, and King Septo. That's crazy. As you can tell, guys, if you come to my right over here and left, the bunny event's still here. So, if you guys haven't got your, uh, Bunny Tron Urn or your Bunny Basher, go ahead. But here we go, the Crypt Kings. All right, so this is, I think, Amon Ra, what he's supposed to look like. I, I believe this is I'm also gonna show you how to beat Horror Mode as well. Now, like the old Crypt Kings, guys, certain um, certain heroes are not allowed in certain of these crypts. Now, I did test a few things. I did know Shadow doesn't can't go in the purple one. I know Undead can't go in the screen one. Holy can't go in the, I think it's Raw's, and I think um, Bedemon can't go in this one. No, Undead can't go in this one. It's either or two, it's crazy, it's wild. But this is what, this is what look, everything looks like, guys. Oh yeah, the Merchant over here, guys, is pretty cool. Now, once you, I'm playing completing this, guys. This is what the, um, this is what the scare, what the token looks like. So it looks like we have Anubis' Scythe. The Scythe of Anubis, when wielded, will make Anubis two times as powerful in the Egyptian tombs. Looks like we have Sobek Sword, the Set's Blade, and Ra's Sun's Staff. And this Scarab right here, guys. It only costs us one. So this Scarab will teleport players to Amun Ram's tomb, where they can play to defeat this ancient god king. Looks like everything else costs three of the coins, but the Scarab... So this must be really rare to get if it only costs us one. So that's kind of cool. Like I said, I already fought him once. I have a poster of him. But yeah, that's pretty cool. There. They got his big old head. Let's go in the tomb. This is how you now this is how you make him. You talk to this guy right here. Uh, Mummy One says, Welcome to the tomb room. Here you can open each king's tomb individually. Every time you beat their map, you can summon Amin Ra to fight for you after you collect each of his body parts and place them into his statue. You can find them by opening Amin Ra vessels, defeat him in his tomb to earn them. So yeah. The only way to get the map is to purchase a blue scarab from the mummy. So pretty straightforward is what I said, guys. So this is how you do it. It's like building a Frank, but a little different. Too bad you can't make him you can't make him shiny. That'd be kind of cool. But man, look at these concepts, yo. This is nice. All right. Now, the good thing about this, guys, I like really well. Now, if you guys remember the old King Tomb, you, you, like, it's one thing, right? If, if you open one, you had a chance of getting each, uh, each, uh, Crypt King. Now, these are individuals, which I really like about this. 
And this is the reward, depending, you'll get either that, two or twelve skulls, one to two pre urns, one, uh, one coin, or you can get one of those, obviously, secrets. But that's crazy, they're all each individual. But let's go hop into a game park and show you what some of these looks like. Now, <clears throat> the smart thing I did here, guys, you guys can do the same thing as I did. Come out, and it's kind of like the same thing. Go to your loadouts. Now, I, I did mine crazy. I, I did mine kind of like this as well. Like, I did what can be King Raw, what can be King Basset, and stuff, what can be King Nubis. Stuff like that. It's it's really, really cool. So, I'm going to go start putting back on Vision 3. Same with him. So, this is pretty much <clears throat> what I can beat with the King Anubis. This is what, what, what I can beat with King Raw and... Now, <clears throat> this one ain't mixed yet because I can still beat. I could beat uh, Anubis and I think it's uh, what is it? I think the other one with him too as well. So that's really good. King Beset or something like that. All right, so we're gonna do King Raw because I like that one the most. It's like I don't know the match is. I wouldn't say the easiest. It's just cool. All right, now look how cool this is. Like once you come in here, it has your first obviously your one, two, and three for people can play. But look at this. It's really cool. Look at the head on him, King Raw. If you don't know King Raw, he's obviously the sun god. If guys, if you're not if you're not too much uh, familiar with Egyptian gods and whatnot, all right, we're gonna do this. But that's, this is a really cool map. Oh, uh, well, yeah, I love how they did this. Now, like the old Crip King, old King Crips guys, they'll give you the obviously the mode easy, normal, hard, or horror. So we're gonna do horror, and yes, horror. I can do I can do all these mostly on horror. But look at the layout on this bad boy. This is pretty cool. Like you have you have Bra back there. So it tells you everything right here. So here's the entrances right here of each of the thing. And here's the two exits. Exit. So yeah. So start game. Now it does give you five thousand dollars like it does with the normal King Crypt. So I'm gonna put down maybe I'll put down a King Revenant for the time being. I've been able to use my uh paranormal team for these because the paranormals are pretty good. I just I don't know. That's it's just it's just a heck of a team I have with these guys. The reason you want some heavy hitters in here, I'll show you why later in the video. Some of these uh, enemies, a couple of these enemies have over a one point something million health, and you'll see later on what I'm talking about. So what I like to do is I usually put some of my bigger guys on the strongest. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna put down some freak shows like so. Do that as well. What I like to do, I like to put demon mage here in the middle because when you put demon mage in the middle, he mostly covers up everything. I didn't throw demon mage. I'm gonna have max demon mage out. Once you got everything pretty much set, guys, you can start placing your uh, your guys. So I usually like to do. I like to put in. Uh, I like to put darkness right here. And what I like to do, I like to put him on the. Oh, I like to put him on the strongest because he's getting everything. Every button. I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, uh, strongest as well. All right, then you start just putting. Just start placing everything you got. And also, I like, I like the way about. I, I like about my um, my demon team is. I mean, my paranormal team is like. I can put all of them down. Like once I say all of them down, like I don't have to like I don't have no like slots left, so I can actually put all these down. Put one more freak show maybe right here at the end. And losing with one slot and everything is down. Then pretty much I let everything go to work, basically. Now there's only 20 ways, which is good. I know the other old Crypt Kings had had 25. And if I did the calculations on this, every eight minutes when this is uh, done. So I can you can complete this every eight minutes, so that's not a bad time. That kind of like shaves off the time, because normally I think in the older ones it takes a little bit more than that. Horror is is not too bad in this, especially with your good team. Like I'll show you a few of the stats on, on my paranormal team. Obviously I'm not getting that buff like I was in the alliance with King Rev, so he's gonna be kind of iffy. It's pretty much beatable. Now this is King Raw. I knew, I know, I, I'm, I'm not sure. I haven't figured out what all can't be placed yet. I just know from uh, Paranormal and Undead and Shadow cannot play in the uh, this one. I did. I only know that because I put my normal paranormal team in that, and I couldn't place my. Uh, I said shadow, shadow uh, characters cannot whatever and whatnot. So yeah, so uh, darkness cannot play in the purple. Uh. So it was good. Just figure out what what works with everything, guys. And these these are easy to be. I'm glad it, it gave everyone their own separate thing now instead of one big thing, so you can just kind of pick who you want to pick. I'm um, like I said, I have to go back and see those stats. You might have to look at those stats, guys, to see who's actually good. But the Pharaoh is from the Robux urn, so you want to spend all kinds of money on that, you know. Pharaoh, by all means, but he does do 130,000 with a 0 0.1 cooldown. So nine waves already went by, guys. We're doing pretty good. So I'm gonna upgrade these. He's at Vision Three, guys. I know. I was trying to get Nightmare on him because I tell you what, those teams give you a lot of voodoo curses. Like when I say a lot, they give you a. When I say a really great thing. It's like better than any uh, endlesses or anything like that. Almost full it out, maxing out everything on our team. So we're pretty good. So if you look at stats, yeah, the reason good Darkness is good because he also boosts his paranormal by 10%. So, Darkness is doing 257,000. What is that, every 10 seconds? Shawnee Frank does a little bit more. He, if he had Inferno, it'd be at 15,000. That still ain't, that still ain't too bad. King Rev's at 98,000. Like I said, he's not getting that alliance boost because of where he's, you know, this new Kings. 
And Freak Show's only at 7, 7,500 doing three attack speed. So it's, it's not terrible, guys. It's really not. The way they did this uh, map is pretty cool. Obviously, the boss comes out of here if you guys don't know. So it ain't too bad. Um, now, the only thing you get from here is obviously, I think, Soul Gems. And I think you might get the poster. I'm not sure if there's a... I'm not sure if you can, you can get a pet with bosses neither. I'm not sure. I haven't figured that out yet. Yeah, this is a good setup right here, guys. Uh, like I said, figure out what you can do, what you can't do. I just know from experience, pure normal works in the raw and the uh, what uh, Sobek, I believe. It's one of the two. I know that I know I can do two of these with paranormal, and then I have another one. So you gotta kind of find which which goes with which. You'll know that once you play something down. It'll say uh, shadows are not a lot of fight here, stuff like that. Kind of like the same routine as the. But I think this crit might be the better of the other one. Just just for that is because you can do like you get so much rewarded rewards. I think like, the rewards are amazing. All right, so 13 out of 20. Tell me what you guys think of this new update. Is, is it a W update? I think it's a not. Personally, I think it's a W update. They added a lot of stuff to this game. Like, they did amazing. Like, with the new Crypt. I was expecting to be, like, ancient Egyptian, stuff like that. But I do like the theme. Yeah, I really do. I like how they did it. Now, I'm not sure how many exist of the new, uh, new Amun Ra. That'd be kind of dope. If you guys got that too, let me know in the comments below. But yeah, I think... That scarab is probably rare. I'm not saying if it's rare like the chalice, but it has to be rare. If it, only, if it only takes one of those coins to actually get, I mean, it's really rare. Now, I think wave 16, guys, is where these enemies I want to show you come out. The reason I, I set my higher enemies to strongest is they might be coming through one of these doors. They might come through the back doors. So we're on wave 15. They'll either come through this door or <clears throat> the ones back there, but you'll know them. They look like, a, they look like an alligator. If I can find them... Where they at? I'm not sure what these guys do. It looks like they're just like flinging their sword, which is hilarious. But the theme, dude, is amazing. We have soldier mummies. We have manic mummies. We have man, you name it, they got it. They come out with these whole. These even these new enemies are cool looking. Like bravo to the dead. Okay, this is where the this, okay, like this guy right here. We have like warrior mummies. So they're not coming out yet. I, I did not see them. It's either this or it might be the next round. It's one of the two, though. There's a humongous guy, too. It has, like, 1.8 million health, 1.7 million health, something like that. I mean, it, they're, they're, it's not hard to take down, but it's also good to have that amount of damage just waiting there, you know what I'm saying? Even though, because the, the exit's so close to the entrances, you know what I'm saying? That's why you kind of need it. All right, we're on wave 17. They might be coming out now. It is wave 17. No, not them. I know for a fact they're coming out. Oh, here, here, here they are. Okay, look at it. Boom, there they are. All right, so we got um, the Guardian, then we got Mummy Croc. See, 1.1 million doesn't seem like a lot. But if you don't have the damage, it can overwhelm you pretty good. But yeah, that, that big guy had, I forgot how much that big guy had. That big guy had, like, quite a bit of health. But yeah, we got the Mummy Crocs at 1.1 million health. But my paranormal team I mean, has enough damage to take it out. As you can see, it's going down pretty big. But yeah, just set your strongest guys. Just set your uh, big guys the strongest, and you should be good. Or something that has a lot of AoE damage, like maybe a King Minus or something like that. Maybe... Even Ice Queen, because she does the whole st uh, the stun slowness of stuff like that. That kind of helps, too, in the same process. Yeah, this guy has around 1.7. <clears throat> but it feels like this guy's easier to take down than the Crocs, like, once they get to him, watch. Because as long as you have the AoE damage, you're pretty, you're pretty much set. There it is. He just goes down pretty fast. All right, Wave 20. About to see the boss come in handy. Now, like the other bosses, they'll, 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 they'll do, like, a certain animation, like, blah, blah, blah. The ball, your unit has been chosen, something like that. Uh, there he is, guys. This is Raw. We got the Sun God right here. I love the character work on the bosses, too. They did pretty good on this. So he does have 5 million health, so this should be pretty much simple to beat. Ain't too much. I ain't worried about it. They're not going to kill him right here, like that. There we go. See see what I did? One of my guys. One of my guys has been chosen. But surely enough, we'll take him down like that. And that's how you beat Horror Mode. You get 4 of that, then you get XP. Uh, maybe not, Sorry, you don't get any uh, Soul Gems. But yeah, you get XP and you get 4 of whatever that All is. Alright, back in the lobby, guys. So... That is how you beat horror mode. Um, like I said, work with the different teams, guys, to figure out what can what you can do really to uh, see what kind of is not allowed in each crypt. And a after that, it's pretty much self-explanatory. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this little, uh, this, uh, not little video, but enjoyed this video of the new Crypt Kings update. If you guys have enjoyed this video, go ahead and smash that like button down below. Subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. And guys, turn on that notification bell. As always, guys, be safe, stay frosty, and I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace.